G'day guys, welcome to Dylan Empire. In this episode, we show you what it's like on paint day when it comes to doing a full closed door respray on a car. This is the fun bit. Hey guys, so today we're down at Jake's workshop and we're working on this little UC Tirana, yet another one. I haven't been documenting this car because it's not mine, um, but basically getting this car painted for Andrew's sister, Amy, and this has got to be ready for less than two weeks time. It's her wedding and we're gonna have two UCs, two sisters UCs in the wedding. Should be really cool, but we're gonna get some color on this thing. I haven't been documenting it, but I thought today, while everything all comes together in the one day, I might as well make a video on it. So we're gonna get this thing in color today. So as you can see, it is all in primer. I've had a few little rub through sections, but not overly concerned. Um, all these little rub through sections will just get a spot prime, and then the color's gonna go down. This is Caribbean turquoise, really, really cool color. As you can see in the boot jam, I've already painted in here and I've painted inside all of the door jams and it is pretty much now gonna be closed up, masked up and it's gonna get a full closed door respray. I haven't finished prepping the bonnet because the bonnet is going satin black, the same as Andrea's car and along and around the window frames. But yeah, we just thought we'd just do a quick, probably a hell of a lot of time lapsing how the color goes down on this. So anyway, we've got to do a big clean up, clean the car down, clean the booth out really well put the car in and just spend hours masking. So let's get stuck into that. I'm starting to mask up all the edges with this soft foam back. This is from 3M, but there's different brands available. And yeah, this is to get a nice edge. Once you put your color in, you don't want a hard edge on all your door jams and stuff like that. So go around the whole car and just painstakingly hours and hours of masking. Try and get this thing clean and reduce any dust from blowing up and landing in your paintwork. The more time we spend now, is the more time we save later.
All right, so we've got the car all prepped out now. I've given it a spot prime, a few little sections that needed a, that had a bit of a rub through, and Jake's now going over it with a tack rag, which takes off any little bits of lint or hair or dust. Real lightly with a tack rag. Pretty much the last step before the color goes down. All right, so we're all done now. Jake's finished off laying some clear, ended up with four coats of clear on this car, and so far, come up really good. We're gonna have a look at it now out in the sun. It's had enough time in the booth for one day. Let's get it out, see what this color looks like in the sunlight. Okay guys, so that is gonna be a wrap on paint day, on respraying a car. I wasn't gonna document this on the channel at all. It's not my car, so it's not usually something I wanna film. But I thought today, when it all comes together, I would lay some video out for you guys to see the process and how it goes down, just for some entertainment value, basically. So obviously lots to go on now, a lot of reassembly, the bonnet and the window frame is gonna go black. That's gonna be another day job. But as for now, that's gonna be it for this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Check out the online store and I'll see you all on an upcoming episode of The Iron Empire. Cheers, guys.